Hey everyone, welcome to Queen's TV Not Live. Unfortunately, last night, because of the AMS debates, we did not have a live episode, so we are filming this on Wednesday, January 25th, 2012. I have no audience and no safety net if I'm not funny, so we're just gonna move on now. Last week, we had a very popular video called Shit Queen Says. And in the response, we actually looked at the YouTube analytics of the video, which showed how many people stayed watching after they started. And there was a specific drop after a certain line, which was, I would have slept with her, but then she said she went to Western, so I turned around and ran in the opposite direction. Now clearly, Western was a little hurt by this, so we decided to make it up to them by making their own shit Western says video. Here you go. Well, if I applied to enough schools, I knew that one would say yes. Remember that time Queens beat us in football? Today I learned that five plus two equals seven. Physics. I wish I went to Queens. Heck, even Brock. My mom says I'm the handsomest guy in school. She's better than me. He's better than me. That fire hydrant is better than me. Did you see that shit Queens says video? That guy sounds like a total bitch. What's happiness like? I saw a Queens student wearing army pants and flip-flops, so I bought army pants and flip-flops. White and purple are so slimming, I definitely need it. My mom didn't pack me my fruit roll-ups. It's so cool that our mascot's a car. Quack fiends. Now, I don't know if anyone reads this journal that you see lying around in piles around campus, but last week, co-editor-in-chief Claire Clancy penned an editorial calling for financial transparency from the AMS. It started when the journal requested a subscription to a Canadian press-style guide, which is basically just daring us to make a joke about their writing quality, but we won't. And the AMS, their financial oversight, denied the request on the grounds that the corporate credit cards had been maxed out. In response, the journal began a three-month-long campaign for the AMS to release their raw credit card data, going so far as to file a Freedom of Information request. The AMS has responded that releasing this information would expose sensitive information about their suppliers, which could in turn severely harm business relations. The journal has claimed that it is in the interest of students who fund the AMS to see exactly where their student fees are going. We at Queen's TV Live completely understand where the journal is coming from. It only makes sense that the AMS must be hiding something sinister if it won't release its financial history. And never mind that the AMS is audited every year by an external independent organization and releases a yearly financial report. But financial responsibility isn't a one-way street. And that's why we demand that Claire Clancy, an AMS employee via the journal whose salary is paid through student fees, release her last 10 years of personal credit card history too. I mean, we're just students who are curious where our student fees are going, and you yourself said, and I quote, officials within the organization should strive to give students information whenever possible. Besides, if you had nothing to hide, why wouldn't you release the information? We eagerly await your response. Everybody, this is Stacey Lambert reporting for Queens TV. Now it's the uh, first couple of weeks back here at Queens, which means one thing. Some of the frauds out here have probably looked at 10 to 20 houses already. It's important that they get their parents' money's worth. Let's see if we can find some people to interview. Um, hey, are you guys, are you guys frosh? Yeah, we are, yeah. Are you guys uh, out looking for houses today? Yeah, you know, we've already looked at a few houses, but I'm feeling pretty confident in this. We've actually run into a lot of trouble with the past few houses. I got lead poisoning at the last house. Right. Well, uh, we're with Queen's TV. We're doing a story right now on Frosh looking for houses. Do you mind if we follow you guys up and uh, take a look with you? Yeah, All right, awesome. You have a warrant? No, we're here for the house viewing. You sure you're not cops? Pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, we're sure, yeah. yeah. All right, so there's a pretty big demand for this place. I already had five showings today. Three of those did end up being cops, but uh, I think they were interested. They took a lot of pictures, so come in. Keep your shoes on. It rained last night. So we don't have any heating in the house, but we just installed a new fireplace. All right, this is the shitty, I mean, pretty kitchen. Uh, I know what you're thinking. Mouse poop in the drawers. Wrong. Raccoon poop. And this, this is where the gremlin lives. But don't call him that. Call him Igor. He likes that. I don't even know what a gremlin is. It's What's like a, gremlin? a Furby, but like when you get it wet, it starts to multiply. Yep, just like women. Looks real, doesn't it? Painted it myself, so don't try to use it because it's just cardboard. Uh, that looks like rust, but don't worry, it's just dried blood. Okay, good. And this is the master bedroom. Uh, the refrigerator doors don't actually open, but if you keep your food near it, it will keep it semi-cold. 
ignore that. Okay, you'll notice a nice solid 4.2 angle slope of the bathroom. So if you do le uh, pee, lean back. Uh, there hasn't been a murder in that bathtub since 96, so don't worry about it. But stay away from the windows because there are drive-bys. Shut up! I'll feed you later! And the crown jewel of the house really is the extremely versatile basement. I swear I've seen that in a movie before. Human centipede. Oh, uh, is that how they found it? Yeah. <laughs> so you'll notice that there's no floors or windows, so it's perfect for keeping prisoners, harboring exotic pets, or just having your own mess lab. Uh, we will keep your washer and dryer down here, so you're forced to come down once in a while, but don't stay for too long because there is asbestos. Um, don't wear bright colors and make sudden movements when you come down here. That will scare him. And that corner over there, don't go there. It will lower your sperm count. So what do you guys think? It's the best house we've seen so far. It's great. It's only 2000 a month per person. It's a great location. Okay. Only an hour from campus by bus. Sweet. Reasonable. Wow, okay. Yeah. I like it. I really, really like it. So do I. Sign here, here, and here. Okay, do you have a pen? Yep. Just kidding, it's a dead mouse. <laughs> There's your pen. Thank you. I haven't seen one ghetto bug yet. <laughs> Don't be absurd. Of course there's ghetto bugs. That's it for this week's episode of Queen's TV Live. We'll be back next week, live, hopefully, from the JDEC Performance Space, 9 p.m. on Tuesday. In the meantime, check out facebook.com slash queens tv, youtube.com slash queens tv, and twitter.com slash queens tv. We are nothing if not consistent. Anyway, that's it for this week. See you later. Bye.